What's happening out there guys? It's Real Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online money glitch. All right. Now, this money glitch video is currently one of the only ones that are working right now. I'm pretty sure everything else got patched. Uh, I know at least all the videos I've posted recently, all those car dupe glitches as well as the gift cards to friends glitch, all that got patched, all right? Thursday, everything got patched. So, um, yeah, this is basically all we got left, but it's not the best of glitches, and I'll explain why. Okay, it's easy. All the steps are mad easy, and it's actually not that, not that you know, hard to do, and it's pretty quick. But the problem is, is that if you have a big friends list or a big crew that you're in, it could interfere with the glitch. So... This is mostly for people that, you know, don't really have a lot of friends, but, you know, you find one friend that you can do this with and you're good to go. But that's kind of like the warning I want to give you about this, okay? And you're going to see why here in a second. But what you're going to need is you need one friend to do this glitch. You need a facility. I recommend duping the LG Retro Custom and obviously put that in your facility. Uh, you don't need custom plates for this, so that's a big one, all right? It's a merge glitch. You do not need custom plates for this, so that is a big plus. At least we have that. But uh, apart from that, you do need either the MOC or the CEO garage with a mod shop, okay? Now, I recommend the MOC. It's much quicker. And in the MOC, you want the personal vehicle storage. Doesn't matter if there's a vehicle in there or not. But in your facility, what you do want is you do want your LG Retro Custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping. Just throw that in slot one and then have an LG RH8 in slot two. Okay, that's like the main thing you want. I recommend filling up your facility if you want to just keep rinsing and repeating. You'll see why later in the video, okay? Everything will become clear later. So, uh, I actually had to go on my Rogue Almond account to actually do this because I have like little to none to no friends over there on this account, okay? Like that's why I couldn't even do this on my Roll Easy account. But here you go. I'm going to show you how to actually set this up. So, you see I have the LG Retro Custom. Doesn't matter if it has a plate on it or not, but in slot 1, and then I have an LG RH8 stock in slot two. That's the setup that you want. You can really do this in any slot, but just for the tutorial purposes, nice and easy to show you what slots they are in. Okay, as you can see, roll easy, just join the party in the bottom left. <laughs> I had to literally reverse and switch accounts, but I just want to show you that there's a roll easy plate on that LG Retro because that's actually going to change to a regular generic plate, which will create a clean duplicate, okay? Uh, also, I recommend you own the workshop, or sorry, not the workshop, my bad. <laughs> I recommend you own the living quarters uh, in your facility so that you can spawn back very quickly and keep doing this back to back, okay? So, uh, once you've done that, go ahead and invite your friend that's helping you into your facility, okay? What your friend is going to do is call up Martin, Simeon, or Gerald and start up one of those jobs. Now, you remember we were doing this, uh, you know, in the last video I think I posted and the one before that. Few, uh, a few past glitches have been using this method so you would basically request the job and then you can go ahead and launch it uh, remember the friend is doing this for you but from within your facility now if you don't have that job there you see right there roll easy my friend <laughs> my other account whatever my other account just launched the job and they're just gonna sit in that lobby screen the whole time okay and Xbox we get automatic alerts that's just whatever you know but uh, yeah, so set, make sure your spawn location is set to the facility and go ahead and find new session. All right. Now, if you didn't have the those jobs available, what you want to do is go ahead and play one of those jobs, a Martin Samuel or Gerald job. You just need to play one from, you know, the Rockstar created jobs. Once you play one, you'll be able to call them to actually request one of the jobs. That's why you have them locked. OK, so. At this point right now, I just hit find new session. Remember, my friend is still in that session. Oh, and you want to start this in a closed friend session. That's actually really, really important. All right, closed friend session or closed crew session. I did it in a closed friend session, and it definitely helped out, okay? So pretty sure that was all I needed. That was actually really important. I should have said that in the beginning. I'll actually, I'll put like, you know, I don't know. I'll put something in the beginning of the video to remind people. But uh, yeah, so once you spawn in that new public session, what you want to do is just swap vehicles one and two, the LG Retro Custom and the RH8, okay? Just swap them, all right? Simple as that. That's all you want to do. Now, go ahead and go to your style and change something. One of the accessories, put on, oh, God, that mask is disgusting looking. So <laughs> either way, like this mask right here uh, will, you know, cause that. If you notice in the bottom right, I got an orange save icon. That's what you want. Not only can you change an accessory, but you can also buy ammo, and that'll also give you an orange save icon. Now, it doesn't give me one here because I just got one. You can't get it, like, back-to-back -back like that, but, you know, it does work. So buy ammo or change an accessory, select an outfit, things like that, and you'll get the orange save icon at the bottom right. Once you've done that, you want to hit join friends. This is why this glitch can be complicated for people with many friends or in a big crew. 
okay, this rogue account, I only have a few friends on it and I just added my other account, you know, just to make it easy, all right? But I pretty much spawned in my other account session every single time I did this. But if you have a big, you know, friends list, you're going to be spawning in your other friends sessions constantly and constantly, okay? So I definitely recommend whoever's doing this have a small friends list or be part of a small crew, okay? So as you can see right here, I joined back into my other account session. Remember, my other account is still in that job. Your friend is still in that job, just sitting in that job from within the facility, okay? Now, what you do is make your way back over to the vehicle management and you're going to see how, you know, where the magic happens, you know, how this glitch worked and to know if you if it actually worked or not. And it should if you've done everything, like I said, you know, previous to this, it should work perfectly fine. So you're going to see right here when I go to the vehicle management, look at that. It says LGRH8 on top of the retro and it says retro custom over the LGRH8. That's a good thing. OK. Uh, basically what we've done is frozen the garages that's or this you know the garage here in the facility that's why you know your friend just wants to stay in that job so you're gonna hop into the one that says RHA but looks like a retro and just drive it out all right and you're gonna see right here that roll easy plate actually changes to a different generic plate that is the generic plate that was on the RHA that was actually in there in the facility so so you can see right here check it out Boom, right there, JNA266, that's a brand new plate. This is a brand new clean duplicate, okay? So at this point, what I was just gonna go ahead and do is see what I have in my MOC, because I forgot to before I did the video. I have an RH8 in there already, so I'll just, you know, repair it. It doesn't really matter what you have in there, you know, as long as you got the personal vehicle storage, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and park this over there. And remember, this is where I was saying you can also have a CEO office. It takes longer, but you can actually drive this over to a CEO office with a mod shop that has empty spots in it and just drive it in there. Once it's in there, go and change something like the plate color or anything like that. And then the car will stick. OK, but that takes longer using the MOC like we just did right here is much, much quicker. So that's what you want to do. Go ahead and I actually drive it in and out twice just to make sure that it is indeed saved. So once we've saved this, I'm going to show you that you can actually rinse and repeat this. And guess what? Your friend does not have to leave the job. This is why I tested it. I wanted to make sure that this would actually work if your friend doesn't even leave the job. So just like the other glitch, your friend can, you know, go do whatever your, uh, you know, go your friend, tell him, go do whatever he wants to do basically, you know? So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just swap with an RH8. So now this RH8 is going to go ahead and end up in my MOC. And now check it out. I have my two duplicates. Well, my, my original, which is the other one. And this is a duplicate with the uh, generic plate. So you see, that was, the, that was the duplicate. This is the original with my custom plate. So that's how you make a dupe. Uh, it's, you know, it's not the fastest, but it's not the longest kind of glitch either. So it's kind of right in between, but that joint friends thing will mess you up if you have a lot of friends, okay? It's it's a mad easy glitch, but that will mess you up, I promise you, okay? So, like I said, I don't recommend this glitch for everybody. It's the only money glitch we got, and it's a merge glitch, so I thought you guys should know about it, all right? That I can at least do that for you guys. I care, uh, you know, about your game experience, and I want you guys to have fun playing this game. I have fun, you know, doing glitches, so I want you guys to do the same. Now... Uh, which, what I've done there is I've went ahead and set up to do the glitch again. I put an RH8 in slot 2 and a retro custom in slot 1. My spawn location is set to the facility. My friend is still sitting in that job. My friend never got out of that job. And I'm going to go ahead and find you session. Now remember, close friend session is the original session you want to be in. Like I said, I'm going to put some sort of tag in the beginning of the video, like right off the bat when I start naming the requirements, close friend session. It's very important. Usually we're doing glitches in invite onlys or publics even, but no. Close friend session or a close crew session should work. I did it in a close friend session. You can go ahead and try that. I guarantee you that the friend session will work only if you have very few friends on your list. Okay, that's a, that's a huge key factor. Now. Once you've spawned into that new session, remember, go ahead and just swap the cars once and force a game save. Now, you might be wondering why I'm going to show you the glitch again. It's actually really interesting what I found, uh, you know, coming back into my friend's session after I did this part. OK, so you guys remember or save icon at the bottom right. Press pause, go to online and hit join friends. OK, I think you can do join crew members as well, but I'll leave you guys to test that if you really want to. But I did it this way and it worked perfectly fine. So as you can see, I joined my friend's uh, friend session. He's still sitting in that job. Now go ahead and go to the vehicle management and check this out. Instead of actually seeing an RH8, 
where the retro is look at that they're actually both retros but i still got it because it says rh8 over the first slot but they both look like retro so i thought that was super interesting man i'm sure there could be more with this glitch maybe you can even fill up the entire facility you know and you can actually go like retro rh8 retro rh8 retro rh8 maybe you can do that you know who knows maybe you can get three dupes out of this uh at a time uh it still needs to be tested more i'll let you guys do that if you really want to but yeah i'd say experiment with this man and find a reliable friend if you're really willing to do this but just you know it's this glitch isn't for everybody i'm just letting you know not for everybody there's definitely some stuff that will get in the way of most people's accounts like having too many friends on your friends list but as you can see the glitch worked perfectly fine i got my brand new generic plate on there and as you know just go ahead and save it in the moc or in the ceo garage remember you need a mod shop though because you have to modify something on the vehicle to actually get it to stick all right so that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We actually hit 20,000 subscribers already, which is freaking awesome. We're still on the road to 25,000. Let's keep it going. Peace out, guys.